Hi guys, how's it going? Most of us crypto enthusiasts have been hooked on Dodge for a while now and on the eve of Saturday Night Live, speculations are just downright painful to say the least. Obviously, we have seen the rise of Dodge and after a couple of requests, I thought of creating this video to set the Dogecoin mining on, uh, on your laptop or using just the CPU. Um, also, as a side note, I will also list options to choose if you do have a graphic card, so you're covered if you're just wondering that. Um, and before we get started, I also wanted to mention all the links will be in the description. And should you find this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up, uh, you know the drill. And should you consider supporting me, I'll also leave my crypto wallet addresses down below. Uh, be it a cent or a hundred dollars, everything helps. I'll be grateful if you, you know, consider it. So alright, let's not waste more time. Let's get into it. The first thing you'd want to do is head over to this website. We are going to be drawing the ledger chain through this client, Unminable. They have outlined the process pretty well, but it took me a little troubleshooting to get it right and hopefully this video helps you guys out. Here we will be looking at the process of setting it up on a CPU. So if you don't have a graphic card, this process is going to be for you. But if you do have a graphic card, uh, you can use either of these mining algorithms. Each of these algorithms has a different mining software, which is here, um, that you can download and follow the similar procedure that we are going to do with RandomX here. It is pretty easy and you should be able to get it running in under 5 minutes. So let's get into that. First off, you'll have to create a folder, which I've created in my D drive. What we need to do is add this folder to the virus and threat protection exclusion list. So we'll go ahead and open virus and threat protection. And once this opens up, uh, you'll have to go to virus and threat protection here in Windows security. Um, and go to manage settings under virus and threat protection settings go all the way down to exclusions and click on add or remove exclusions and here you would do add an exclusion folder and then add in the newly created folder and do select folder i've already done it so it would show up here and also note that some of you might have antivirus softwares installed so you might not get a similar piece like this so you either are going to have to exclude that particular folder in your antivirus software or just you know uninstall the software and uh, you know follow the step once this is done you want to head on to the xm rig github so once you open this up it will take you to releases and you want to scroll all the way down and download the source code now in my case this the source code for windows did not work so I had to go to the issue section of the repo and I actually left a comment here um, mentioning that I, I was missing the exe file. So um, the solution that I was suggested was to either download the 6.12.0 version or just head on to the XM rig download link. So this the latter was a lot more easier. So you would want to go to this website, um, click download. Uh, it would say that it would be flagged by antivirus but we already added that exclusion so you would do I understand and show the link go ahead and download it and once you once the browser asks you for the download you want to download it in that folder um, so I already have it downloaded so I'm just gonna skip um, as a side note again uh, when you try to download it uh, it might say that your file is dangerous uh, and it the browser will flag it so you want to go to Chrome settings, um, go to safe browsing, security, so you're going to open that up and I have standard protection enabled here. So you want to do no protection, down, uh, turn off, um, then download that file and then switch it back. That's a side note for downloading, you know, uh, dangerous files uh, as the browser would flag them. And once you have that installed, you want to open that folder, extract it, and you will you will see these files. So once you have this exe, that's when you would want to open a command prompt in this particular path. So right here, I did an alt D, and then type in cmd, which will open up a command prompt. And here, what you want to do is run the command from here. So you want to copy this and paste it here and you want to replace your worker name which would be your laptop name or whatever you want to name it 
and in place of your address uh, you would want to add in your wallet address now for the for the for the crypto wallet i'm using jax liberty which is a third party wallet um, i find it pretty safe um, and you could get your dodge address here so you want to copy this and then paste it here instead of your address and i would very much appreciate it if you could use my referral code um, so that you know we could each get point to 5% off of the mining fees um, as it is mentioned here um, my referral is this so if you could just copy paste the command that I would leave in the description I really appreciate it with your uh, with your own wallet address of course and you just want to add in the referral code at the end and then hit enter so once you hit enter you should see something like this show up in a while and this has been running for a few days in my case so it, it we see a bunch of um, you know jobs being decrypted uh, because that's what mining is and uh, once this process would be running for a while to check uh, you know your balance you would want to head back to the unminable website again and then enter your dodge wallet address here and say search so it would take you to a page like this and you would be able to see your balance now i have only been mining for a, for about three four days now so you know that's around 0.5 um the auto checkout would be at 30 dodge coins uh, which would roughly take around three months at a hash rate of say approximately a thousand um, which you would be able to see here there are a bunch of options to check say your hash rate so you want to press h it would show your cores that your PC has and uh, the hash rate on each core. If you press S, it would show a bunch of results and things like that, and it would uh, resume its process, so on and so forth. And that's it. Hopefully, that should be useful. And I would really appreciate it if you could, you know, use my referral. And I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.